Hey everybody and welcome into Clearing the Benches. Today we're just going to do a quick preview of the four games in NHL action tonight. And let's start it off with the Detroit Red Wings taking on the Dallas Stars. Detroit coming in at 14-8-4. They are 6-3-1 in their last 10. But unfortunately for Red Wings fans, they are 0-2 since Patrick Kane has suited up for them. On the other side of things, Dallas is coming in at 15-8-3. They are 4-4-2 in their last 10. And recently, they have been giving up a plethora of goals. Um, Dylan Larkin's probably going to miss this game as a precautionary measure. You know, he took that big hit the other night, and hopefully he's able to come back soon. And when he does, hopefully he's going to be at 100%. Alex Dabrinkit, as advertised, they bought him in to score goals. He's got 13 goals so far. So overall, Detroit coming in second in the league in goals scored at 3.7 per game. Unfortunately for them, on the other side of things is where they're kind of being hamstrung. Their overall team save percentage is only 899, 18th in the NHL. Dallas being led in scoring by old man river, Joe Pavelski. He's got 13 goals. And surprisingly, a guy who scored 50 goals for Dallas last year, Jason Robertson, he's already got 17 assists. So that's going to be a good game to keep an eye on tonight. Next up, we've got the Calgary Flames taking on the Colorado Avalanche. Calgary just ended a six-game home streak. It's their first of two six-game home stands that they're going to have this year with a 4-2 loss to the Jersey Devils. Flames are coming in 11-13-3. and three. Colorado's coming in 69 and two. Uh, this is going to be the second time they've met this year. Colorado won three to one on November 25th. Colorado's getting led by surprise, surprise, Nate McKinnon, 37 points. Surprise, surprise, Kel McCarr, 34 points. Um, the Flames have got hit hard this year with injuries. They've got a young star, Connor Zary. I think he's got 13 points in 13 games played. <clears throat> he's 50-50 for tonight with a lower body injury. Overall, the Flames have lost 97 manpower games this year. Offensively, they're being led by Kadri, who's got 18 points. And recently, much on the trade rumor circuit, Elias Lindholm, 17 points. So that's going to be another good one to keep your eye on tonight. Calgary at Colorado. Next up, we've got a really good one. The Toronto Maple Leafs taking on the New York Islanders. Toronto's got four guys with over 20 points. Nylander at 32. Matthews, 18 goals and 27 points. Mitch Marner, 25 points. Tavares, 23 points. Um, problem for them is, again, you know, goaltending, like so many other teams in the league, Wall was just injured, you know, he's got an ankle. Let's see how long he's going to be out. So in the meantime, Toronto is going to have to go back to Sam Sonoff, who's got a 5-1-3 and three record, or Martin Jones. So I would think it's probably going to be Sam Sonoff in the Nets tonight for Toronto. And on the other side of things, you know, the Islanders, they've got Sorokin coming in at 7-4, and four, or Varlamov, who's got a 5-2 and two record. So... Uh, that's going to be another game. Islanders have got four guys with 20 points or more. Barzell, 28 points. Bo Horvat, 24. Noah Dobson from the back end with 24 points. And Brock Nelson, always gritty sandpaper. He's got 20 points this year. So that is going to be a really good game to look at. Um, the Islanders currently at fourth in the Metro. So they're going to be hungry for some points to stay in that race. And then finally, the last game of the night that we've got Got the Arizona Coyotes taking on the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. These are two teams that, as of last week, are struggling. Um, you know, the Arizona's holding their own, but they just had a five-game winning streak, and now they're on a two-game losing streak. Uh, they are currently at 13-11-2, and, and Buffalo's coming in at 11-14-3. Uh, both of these guys, both of these teams are being led in scoring by guys that they probably thought would not be leading their team in scoring. Uh, you know, Keller's leading the Coyotes in points with 25, but Michael Carcone is really the story out here in the desert with his 13 goals. He led the AHL in scoring last year. Coyotes gave him a chance in training cap. He made this team 
and he has been nothing but spectacular so far for them. So the other side of things, Casey Middlestad, you know, another guy, he's been around for a while. I'm sure a lot of Sabres fans in the past wouldn't have minded if they had dealt him off. But right now he's coming in with 22 points. Well, you've got Skinner and Dahleen coming in each at 21 points. And J.J. Paterka has got 20 points. Uh, like I said, Keller's got 25 points for the Coyotes, but he is a minus 10. Uh, Nick Schmaltz is also coming in at 20 points. So those are the four games that we've got in action tonight in the NHL. you have anything you want to say, please leave it in the comments section. And if you could like, subscribe, it would greatly help us out. And here at Clearing the Benches, you know the motto, let them know you're out there.